Anna, I'm James, I'm from North West Carpers. Um, this little video is just going to run you through one of my favourite rigs, which is the Combi Rig, otherwise known as Stiff Inge. Um, all you need for this rig really is charge filament or some of those stiff, stiff hook links, so you could use the IQ or just standard fluorocarbon. I've chosen the end trap, uh, mouth trap, in £15, just because it's a good night. Good colour, near enough from visible in water, and easy to use in my opinion, one of the easiest to use. Um, that will form the actual the hinge, like the stiff part of the rig. Uh, for the actual hook link, it will be supernatural in £18, cut £25 sorry, because I think it just get, presents it a lot neater and it gives the bait a, a lot of free movement when in the water and like it's so supple it just the bait moves so easily. Um the hook which I'm gonna use for it is a curve shank. Uh, I'll tell you the reason behind that when I come down to tying it. And then all you need is some scissors and a baiting needle just to do the the hair rig with. So to start with pull off a good t ten to thirteen inches of chod filament. And just cut it. And all you do then, as you can see, I've just got it nice there. Just put it down and then strip, get your supernatural, and get about 8 inches of that. As you can see, about 8 inches there. Um, right, combining the two together, this is a point where a lot of people struggle. I mean, I used to struggle until I weren't able to tie a decent knot. Um, the knot I use is called a worth water turn knot. Uh, I know some people call it different things, but it's just what I've been growing up with, so I just use it and use it. So, you've seen this plenty of times. I mean, you see it on all the DVDs and that, but my uncle taught me this before and saw any DVDs. Um, simply, all you do is you make a loop in the charge filament like that. You get your braid, part of the braid, and put it into the loop. So you got your braid through your loop, and then all you do is whip the braid around both bits of the chod filament. I go down five times and then back up twice. It just ensures the knot's nice and tight and not going to be able to break or snap or anything like that. So, once you've done that, I make sure the tag end goes back through the loop, like so. And then all you do, as you can see there, I've started to put it nice and tight now, and it's starting to form already. So all you simply do is just put some saliva on it. Again, just keep wetting it until you get it down nice and neat. And eventually it makes a nice small loop and it never breaks, I've never broken it yet. And it just makes the whole rig presentation look so much neater. Some people, like myself when I first started using this rig before my uncle taught me how to tie it, um, I just used a loop to loop or make a loop in the uh, charge filament and tie out like a bud knot or a parallel knot or something like that, uh, a grinner knot sorry. And it's all well being but it doesn't have a better knot strength as what this has. Well, in my opinion, it doesn't. I mean, I've used this now two, nearly two years. This rip, this knot, and I've never broke on it yet. And the other knots you could break because the knot could come loose. Because within within a chod film, it's quite tricky to keep a knot. So that's why using a bit of braid just helps it. So as we can see there, nice small knot. It doesn't look like it'll do much, but believe me, super strong, super reliable. So, right, so as you can see though, I've only got a short bit of braid left, and to tie the rig on, the actual hook on, then the hair, the hair itself uh, means I've got to tie a different knot. So what this knot is, is a whipping knot. Again, you'll have seen this on videos if you watch a lot of fish and tackle videos. But um, I never used to do this when I did any rig, I thought, oh, knot was knot, you can't beat it, because that's the way you get brought up sort of thing, they can't fish in. But um, ever since I use this knot, I find it has a better sitting. The hook sits 
nicely on any rig you tie. I use it for choddy rigs. So much easier. It gives it such a better presentation, in my opinion, than what a normal um, not what not not what not does. It's unbelievable. And all you do with that is you make a loop around the shank of the hook. You put the the braid through the front of the eye, pull it down. As you can see, that's on the back of the the shank of the hook. And then all you do is whip the loop around the shank of the hook. Depending on how many times, I'll do it about six or seven. So that's seven, that. And then all you do is pull the tag end. And that is a perfect whipping knot, and it's one of the best knots I've ever used, to be honest. Absolutely love it. Um, as you can see, it's only a small bit of braid there. But all that does, because I only wanted a small bit to tie it, because it extends. So if you look now, there you go. You've got an about couple of centimetres which is just enough for it to move freely so as you can see there it's um, got a nice hair on this particular particular rig I may you can vary it really quite sometimes you can have a rig ring you can have some silicon tubing um, with this one because it's probably just going to be a standard bottom bait and with a curve shank hook it, it sits a lot nicer than it would do so silicon tubing could be a really nice rig for this but I'm just going to use it as a standard bottom bait without any silicon tubing because I just like the way it sits it makes the hook the, bo the actual hook point a bit heavier the bottom of the hook's heavier than the eye so the hook will flick into the mouth straight away so all you do then finish off the rig tie, tie your hair leaving enough room for a good size boy with because I mean this will be used probably for 18mm cell or 18mm monster squid depending on where I'm going um, and all I'm doing oh brand loop not just like normal hair then I simply get my baiting needle pull the hair through pull it down and tight Nice and tight, just like that, and then all we do, ah, that looks sharp. Put the tag end of the hair. Like I said, you could put silicon tubing on a rig ring, but I don't want to on this particular one because it would be more for a slow sinking. I think it'll probably end up being a snowman rig. This one, but as you can see there, want to just tidy it up. As you can see. There's your small little water knot, which I call water knot anyway. Your whipping knot, which sits perfectly, and then it's a size 8 curve shank. With a longish hair, but like I said, it'll probably have an 18mm cell on its own, or a smaller 15mm cell with a small 10mm pop up. And that's pretty much it. The only thing else you need to do really on the chod filament, um, where, the t where the knot is, you could always add putty on it, which I would do before it goes in the water, like fishing with. But I'll, I prefer to do that on the lake because then you can get a nice balance for the bait. And you have to obviously tie either a swivel on the end or what I do with this sort of rig. It's just an over, over and loop knot because they're simple enough to do. They're solid, with, especially with the chod filament. They're really easy and they're reliable. Any knot you do in the chod filament will sit nicely. So again, over and loop knot because it's chod filament, just um, wet it with saliva. I haven't got my pull at all. So I'm going to have to use the uh, baiting needle. But basically, pull it tight. Cut the tag end off. And that is your finished rig. So I, let's run through it again. It's a 15 pound chod filament going to what I call water, water turn knot, it probably is, I don't know, I know people have different names for a knot, uh, running to £25 Supernatural, it's very thin, uncoated braid, super, it's really supple, so the fish, the bait has so much movement, it's unreal, that's going to a size 8 Kershank hook, 
which is tied on with a whipping knot and then a nice long hair so you can have a nice size bait on it or put a snowman presentation on it so yeah guys so that's my combi rig or otherwise known as a hinge stiff rig um, there will be some other videos coming up soon from the other from the other lads but other than that uh, thanks for watching and please rate like and subscribe